from Karen's getting arrested, Karen's getting removed from planes, to complete lunatics acting up in Walmart, today we'll take a look at the best that society has to offer. We are going to start strong with a complete degenerate at Burger King having a temper tantrum that would put a four-year-old to shame. Allowed to refuse service, I'm you so I'm gonna tell the owner you you're losing money because we want to make a big order of food. No, Give me the f chicken, or I'm gonna cause a scene. Get your owner here. Cause a scene. You're recording. You're gonna lose money and get fired. We ordered food and you wanna refuse it. Look at you. You're telling me you're not being rude? No, we weren't. You. Give me my chicken. I came 30 miles to get a chicken. Chicken. Kiss my ass. I'll call you. Owner, bitch. You like Google reviews? Come I'll come here right now, come motherfucker. Come on, bro. You a wild ass. You're getting fired. You. Give me my chicken. I drove 30 miles to get my chicken. Fucking crazy white people, bro. No, nah, you just brown as fuck. Bro. That's why you working in McDonald's, bitch. Totally unhinged. I would have paid good money to see what he looked like as he was yelling because I'm pretty sure he was actually foaming out the mouth. Moving on, we have a racist Karen who is demanding green cards from some workers, and she even tries to push one off a ladder. It is my business. I pay four hundred seventy-five thousand dollars a for month. For this, not for that. That's not your unit. This is your unit. Well, let me tell you this. But I will put it wrong, and you think you're going to hire illegal aliens to do our mediocre work? Look, I'm not even talking to you anymore. Go back in your house and just shut up. And don't you go shut near up them. Don't yourself go near them. because I already have a lawsuit out for you. Well, right? good for you. Good for you. I'm, I'm about to call 911 and get you arrested for almost killing them. Pushing I did them. almost kill him. You pushed him off the ladder. He's I got damn it. sure did not. Oh, now yeah? You, He's got it right make here. Make me a hero. Make me. Make me one. Make you what? A hero. And I will for signing up for the, right, for the rights of the United States of America citizens, which you have no choice. How do you know? And it doesn't matter. These guys work for me and they are citizens. And that's all I'm going to tell you. Now get back in your house and don't go near them don't again. Don't you tell me what to do. Don't go near them again you or I will call 911. You don't tell me where I have to you go. You hear me? You hear me? Go ahead and call them. Okay. It and is my you... business. I... I want to see your damn green card. I did not try to throw him off. Yeah, but you um, did. You see? You did. Well, okay. I'm and I, I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove it. You I'm think you're yes, going to... I, I'm going to get you in trouble. Well, go ahead, for bastard. <laughs> I don't know what, ki what that. kind of medication you are. I'm not on any drugs. You are like, you like drunk on something medication. I'm not drunk at but I'm I promise you, I'm this is not the way that you. I'm tired of your coming over here and taking our jobs. They tickle you. Tickle jobs. They tickle jobs. Yeah. Taking who's jobs? You're not oh, doing that job, ma'am. Are you doing that job? Show me your green card. Are, are you doing that job? I asked for a green card. How? Is it? We, we need a green card? Yes, you do. For what? You need a green card to be here? You need a you green need a, card you need a, you. you need a, a green card I to be here? I let them. I will show. I will tell every member of this association that they're hiring illegal aliens to do trash jobs. I walk, I walk with you to tell them. Come on. Yes. Let's go. No. i go with you. Now I will call a meeting. <laughs> oh, she's leaving in 11 and 14. Thank you. 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 This Karen is so racist, she's almost like a cartoon character. It's like, lady, no one is taking your job because you're not going to get any of those jobs anyways with how racist you are and how drunk you are. She is plastered. It's like, who's that drunk in the afternoon? Anyways, moving on. 
we have a dumb Karen who was recording herself verbally abusing her Uber driver, and somehow she thought it was a good idea to post it to the internet. Keep it up, please keep it up. I will. Good, keep Respect it up. Respect is earned and deserved. Yeah, but you haven't go given here, none. Go, here. go now, go back. To Respect work. is earned. And when are you gonna I'm, give some, sir? I'm, when? I'm sick and tired of I've been in this car for five, for, for 50 minutes. When have you respected me as a passenger? When? I got in here, I asked you because you turned your music down. You turned the fucking shit up even more. Nobody should have to ask you that. You feel so entitled. Yes, I feel entitled because I'm a passenger. You're a passenger, but this is And this is your job. It's not my job. It's your job. It's my car. Be fucking professional. I can kick you out of the car anytime I want to. Guess what? I don't work for anybody. Then you do what you need to do. I don't work for anybody. I work for myself. Okay. Keep on, no, keep I can, on, can keep kick on. it out. It's my car. Okay. Please, see, no worries. Don't be quarreling with her, please. Just go. Go you like this. Black Americans, you feel so entitled. Over what? The next right. Lazy ass motherfuckers. Oh, yes, yeah. Go get some job. Mm -hmm. You like to live on welfare. My tax money is taking care of you equal if you don't know that. Mm -hmm. Fool. Keep it up. Bullshit. Yep. If you're dealing with other persons, I'm, don't fuck that shit with me. I'll kick your ass. I need to no, kick I'm you too, like physically. The first right. My God. You're crazy. The first right here. Yeah. See, I'm on the phone. I'm following the GPS. And that's what the GPS is telling me to do. And I asked you why you were on the phone to make a left turn. I am following if the GPS. Wasn't... And I was so right. So what? The I GPS right. is wrong sometimes. That's why I'm up and paying attention so I can tell you which way to go. Um, if you have different issues, I'm not responsible for it. If I have issues, I'm not responsible for it. But please know, you, you pick a patient from the hospital. All this is not right, please. Right down where there's a construction, you make it right at that parking lot. The same place is bringing me to. This one is even really longer. This is not. No, this is one way. It cannot leave you here. Enter here. It's one way. You go the other way. You cannot enter here. There's no road. Right here. To be honest, usually the Uber To be honest, usually the Uber drivers are very professional when they're confronting an unhinged Karen, but this one kind of became a Karen himself, especially when he was saying Americans are lazy. That's kind of a stereotypical thing to say, but it's hard to tell who started this nonsense because we don't have the full context. Moving on, we have a racist Canadian Karen who is having issues with people speaking foreign languages in front of her, and she's having a total meltdown for it. Speaking in Chinese, shut up. Speaking in Chinese in front of me. Shut up. You're rude. Speak English in Canada. Rude as fuck. Who do I complain about? Shut up. You're rude. You are rude. Go somewhere else. Who do I complain about to her? Give me the number. No, you can call our store number. What's your store number? From the top of the list. Okay, can you finish your number? Yes, sir. Okay, Shara is a most, like a moon manager here. She says she would do it for her. Yeah, no, Shara wants to talk to her. You want a manager to talk to me? You bring your manager here. You get up. If you want to talk to me, you bring your manager here, you idiot, or go speak Chinese with your other staff and shit talk me somewhere else. Okay. 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 Okay.
You know about what? You know about what? But at the same time, you can't fight over after speaks in a different fucking language, shit talking to me in front of your staff. That's pathetic. Get him out of here. It's rude. You so friendly. Shut up. Shut up. I'm part of police. Fucking idiot. It's truly unreal that she was acting like this in front of her child, but at the same time, I'm not surprised. Moving on, we have a woman who thought it was a good idea to vape in an airplane. I mean, as another passenger, there's nothing more comforting in an airplane than seeing smoke, right? But I will give credit where credit is due. At least she left without making a scene and didn't become a full-blown Karen. I'm sure she won't do it again because that must have been a very expensive mistake. And like I said, at least she wasn't a full-blown Karen. The same cannot be said about our next subject because we have two Karens, I believe. The person holding the camera and the person reacting to it. There was a 19-year-old girl just being an asshole and she called this guy bald. She was making fun of him. That's not nice, but you know, 19-year-olds are assholes sometimes. It is what it is. And the guy went completely ballistic and tried to run her over with his truck. Talk about an overreaction. Are you mad? Your daddy didn't win. Are you mad? Oh, just sit back and relax, you, you dumbass. Bye. Sit back and relax. I am, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Yeah. I wish you were 18. I'd move I your am, head. bitch. I am 19, bitch. Touch me. Touch no, me. Touch me. Touch me. You're not worth it. Touch me. You're not worth it. Touch me. You're not worth it. Baby. Touch me. You're not worth it, baby. Touch me. Touch me. I dare you. I'll remove your Look fucking at that. head. That's provoking. Look at you know that. what? You're in my face. You're in my face. You yeah. better back off. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> uh, don't swear. Joe can't stay up long enough to cause any problems. Look at this little. Oh, I get more pussy than you, motherfucker. I get so much more pussy than you. You know what? Put your hand on me. Did I? Put your hand on me. Yeah? Have another one. <laughs> Are you mad? Let's see. Let's see your play real quick. Yeah? Yep. Get behind it. Please, get behind it. Get behind it. Bye, baby. You know what you need? You need to be removed from the gene pool because you're too f***ing stupid to be alive. Yeah? Yeah, you do. Yeah, uh, you have yeah. no hair, sweetie. Oh, baby. Touch me. Touch me. No. Fucking touch me. Fucking touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Come on. Come on, hard ass. Get that phone out of my face. I'm about this close. I'm about Get this back fucking in your truck, close. Bitch. I'm Get about back in this your close. Truck. How old are you? Hey, hey, shut up. You shut up. Shut up. Who's <laughs> out here out of his truck? Bye, baby. Bye, baby. So I'm not a lawyer, but in my opinion, the confidence lacking Darren committed a couple crimes there. First of all, the threats. Second of all, he tried to run her over. 
What if she did put herself in the back of his truck? He would have ran her over, went to jail for possibly decades. For what? Just because your ego was bruised? That was a total Darren moment. Next, we have a completely insane lunatic that's trying to get attention at Walmart, and he's accomplishing that by pouring milk all over himself. Next, we have an angry Darren who got into a minor fender bender and he did the only logical thing to do, go completely ballistic and try to barge into the other guy's car. Oh, so now you want his information. Now you want to do the normal thing and exchange info so you can deal with it with your insurance. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Moving on, we have a homeowners association meeting going horribly wrong. Now this video is 45 minutes, so I'm just gonna put a couple highlights, but it is hilarious. The woman was acting like a total dictator. She was clearly power tripping and was enjoying her role a little bit too much. All of our bylaws, master deeds, um, amendments, resolutions, meetings, any kind of information you need to receive, cleaning your vents, so on and so forth, will be on that website. Now, thank you. Now, we did not have to budget up, but I think it's apparent, since this group is very much into the finances, that we will post the budget so that each and every one of you can sit in the comfort of your own home and read each line item and the amount of money that is allocated for that, and you can come up to a conclusion by looking at an actual, factual piece of printed paper that we use for our accounting. Which so we've had in Or after this. What about if you don't have a computer? If you do not have a computer, right. or you don't have technology, or you know what? You're not good at technology because it's crazy. You're very confident. Right, right? Oh my God. Right. Who starts a meeting with such hostility? What? Oh my god. Come on. We ain't wasting time. Clubhouse and pick it up. We can email it to you. We can have someone here to disperse that information to you. Either way, we can get that information out to you for various through various outlets. You will receive that information. How is she elected? Deciding vinyl versus a T111. What? Oh, Who said that? No, no, she, she said. The code is for the unraisable news. It's, it's an example. It's an example. So like if we were to she said? No, no, no. So, if someone says here, wait, wait. that we want to change to siding, we want vinyl siding and not T111, and T111 is in our bylaws. What are you smoking? 
Just on the, just happened to think of that. No, he wasn't voted in at all. He's appointed. We will now take our vote. What are we voting for? Our management company. You gave us no information. We have no information. What are you freaking voting on? I am here. You've got a little thing saying blah, blah, blah. What you say is misleading. What information are you doing here? We have no information on the company here. You're one to hire. We have no information to compare apples to apples. Now you're voting on what? Yes. Yes. Why is everybody crazy here? Absolutely. The way she's talking to these people, it's like she's a queen and she's addressing her loyal minions. It's actually pretty disgusting. It got so bad that this guy had to stand up. And I think the fact that he was packing kind of diffused the situation a little bit, but not that much. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please, can I talk for a second? Ladies and gentlemen, the meeting's here to try to give you guys some information. No, it's not. She doesn't want to give us information. Come out, come out, come on, hey. Let's be, let's be civil. I'm being civil. I'm not raising my hand. Are you a homeowner? Yes, I am. Okay. 17 years. Okay. 17 years I've been here. All right? All right? Let's hear what the people up front aren't good people. I realize you guys, hey, listen. Listen, this is new to me. Hear me out. Young lady, hear us out, okay? All right? Let's hear what they have to say. But she's not giving us information. Well, maybe she will what in a minute. She's saying is, that, that, that being said, you don't want to just take a vote. All right, all right. Well, with respect, all right. So I see you, I see your weapon. Are you here to hire you as a security person? I don't think it has. I can get CPR. Sorry, even got up, guys. Sorry, even got up. Yeah. 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 Like I said before, this video is extremely long, but it's crazy how this woman almost started a riot. If you want to see the rest, you can go and type open HOA meeting gone wrong in YouTube and you'll find it. Moving on, we have a busker in Australia that was playing music, or at least she was about to, when another busker came in and tried to bully her off her spot. And he was being a total Darren. That guy was unbearable. Come, they think you gotta keep here, but you can't sit here for two hours. 
Yeah, you can hear her after after no, other baskets. Okay. Other baskets live in Kingswood. They come here two, two, three hours to pass on Thursday. I live far away too, so I I, I don't live no, no, in the city. You're in the wrong. Um, I know your bus. In the wrong. Oh my god. What okay, is you're wrong? in the wrong because um, Maybe you didn't know, but the way it works is that baskets leave their stuff where the seats but, are. But is there someone who set up this kind of rules? Yeah, yeah, baskets, um, like we negotiate with ourselves, uh, like we manage ourselves. Um, you can imagine if you come here at 11, you can't just leave your stuff here because you can't sit here for three hours. Of course, unless you start, right? That's, that's, why, I, that's why I didn't leave my stuff here. I just started when nobody was here. Yeah, because you didn't see that there is somebody there. The stuff is usually where the seat is. You see Martin there queuing? But no, but normally you guys queue over here. Sorry? You can't queue here because there's people here and you can't... Imagine, like, you can't stand here for three hours, right? You gotta sit. So no, what, yeah, you gotta sit, of course, but then that was empty before. What was? It was empty when I arrived here. What, this spot? Yeah, what, this, this spot, this spot yeah. was empty. Yeah, that... Just Therefore, that means nobody starts and I can start. No, right? no, so just because the spot is empty doesn't mean there's nobody here. Because people, whether well, it's... Because people don't, no, no, people don't view here. Yes. Because you can't sit here for three hours. Of course, I understand. So that's where are you I'm, gonna sit? That's why I'm under, That's why I'm saying, like, if it's empty, why can't I? What do you I, mean empty? What, where do you it want was to sit? empty over here. That's not. If you guys sitting there, why don't you guys start there? So like, we, we, we don't mean. wanna start before two because there's sun. So at two p.m. We, we get this frustration with all the new. New baskets, they just don't understand. You can't understand just say new basket. I started, I already started like since last year. I'm not yeah, but you, how long have you been basket with this? Your spot, right? Oh, no, this. No, no, it's alright, she's on. So don't, 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 don't. When you guys were here, I never even right, queued for you. got three minutes. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it like that. Alright, look, so the rules are, it's a first time, first serve. That's why I first time. Gosh, this guy is such a moron. It's a first come, first serve basis. You just admitted before that you weren't there. You left and now you came back and someone took the spot. Too fucking bad. That's what it is. First come, first serve. His logic is so stupid. It's like he's exposing himself. Yeah. You're so good. She's really Thank good so and much. we're all very good. Thank you. And we're all professionals. No, but we you just don't understand what's going on. Do you understand what's going on? No, all I'm trying to say is you you believe. That's really good. No, no, don't use that word. Okay, so the rules are you gotta, it's a first come, first serve basis. But, um. Then how come you guys didn't start early? Because of the sun? No, no, we don't wanna start early. We wanna start at two because that's when the sun is gone. When do you but, came here today? Yeah. Yes, when? When? Uh, he said like, he was waiting uh, sitting there, but I didn't know oh, he was you came again? Yeah, yeah, one o'clock. Okay, okay. And then she came afterwards, she didn't see the staff. But she wait for the... No, no, she didn't see the staff. They, yeah. they, apparently they were waiting in the seat, yeah. but this was empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, yeah, yeah, which means I can yeah, start. Usually yeah. this is empty, it's always going to be empty. Yeah, which means if I come at 11 o'clock... I'm trying to give you information. I understand, I understand 100% what you mean. But then you also have to understand my position. When I see it's empty, if I come at 11 and you were there already sitting at 11, but you're not starting, if, if, that means I can start, right? Yeah, Which is empty. If there is no stuff yeah. there. So what you gotta what? do is come and see whether there's any basket stuff there. That's so fair. That's uh, no, not no, fair. that's how it's, that's fair because. Who makes the rule? Baskets make the rules. There is no such thing as a written rules, right? Yes, Therefore you can not do all it. rules are written down. You guys, the baskets are so frustrating. Guys, I'm so sorry. Do you guys hear this? I'm so look, frustrated. Just, look, I know you're a difficult basket. I, I you know you're a difficult basket. I've, I've been, I've been told you bask there for six hours on the other end and you break all the rules. I never but look, it's not gonna, it's not gonna he's, fly. He's my witness. Okay, okay. okay. he's well, always see how just, I bask. Can you sh just stop oh talking my. for a second and stop? He told stop me to stop talking. Wait, wait, wait. Stop going to talk. I have one minute to start. Okay. What? Look, I don't want to argue with you, that. but I'm just trying to explain something to you, okay? Don't talk when I talk. I'm giving you a chance to okay. speak, okay? So the way that Vasquez, the way that Vasquez do here is they leave their stuff over there where Martin sits, because and then we choose the slots. So if you come on a Saturday or a Thursday, which is usually the best yeah. times, what, um, what just one you start. I literally just started like 15 minutes ago, and I was that one. So. Your, your yeah, my stuff is there. Yeah, but see, she did. She, she, yeah, I'm trying to explain to her, yeah, and then yeah, people yeah. like you and her are interrupting. And yeah. it's really annoying because yeah, I let can't. Let explain to you what So, what I'm trying to explain to you, I know you're new. So, the rules are is that Vasquez Q, not here.
because you can't wait here for three hours. There's no seats. They either sit over there or they sit over there. Unfortunately, sometimes buskers have to go eat. And they leave their stuff for a little bit and then they come back. But new buskers come and they think there is nobody here. Um, there's nobody why? there, there's no stuff there. That's we don't want to start before two. That's the thing. Why do you guys don't want to start before two? Because the sun and the best time is at two. Then why do you guys choose like time? That means I can start whenever. I don't choose time. If you time. come, you can choose your time. I can't even you choose. Don't, you don't book the space. If, I know, exactly. You, 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 book the, you, you don't book the space, but well, when, you, the when you come, you can choose which time you start. Because if you come at, say, you have priority to choose the spots. If you come, say, at uh, 11, and you want to be here first, you don't have to start at 11 or 12, because it's direct sun where we want to bus. Obviously, you, you can bus facing that way, but that's not always efficient. The best efficient, uh, the, 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 the best place to bus is that place facing that way. No. But unfortunately, you can see that there's sun there, and the sun goes away at 2 p.m., so we prefer to start at 2. But what about me who don't care about the sun then? This you is can, what happened. I always, I always two. bus under that's the right. That's alright. That's your like. You can start before two. You can do whatever you want. You can go one to two. You can go twelve and to one. And then two is yours. Like two that. is mine because I was here first. But if you come first, of course you can start at two. Okay, look, it's oh still one. Can you please stop? Two to three. I'm busking because you were here before Martin. You can go through the four. And then he's after you. And I you. saw Marty was here. So no, no, no. But he, was he came after you. He yeah, was exactly. already busking. He was after you. So you, you have priority. So it's me. You and then Marty and, and it's late night shopping center Man, this guy is such an unbearable bully. It's like you lost a spot, dude You left you went to go do something else and then someone took it Just grow up act like a man for a second. It's not the end of the world I hope that this video goes viral in that local area and that when people see him play music They don't give him a penny So it's gonna go too late uh, so 2, 2 p.m., 3 p.m., it doesn't really matter. But um, I come two hours away from Kingswood to secure a spot. I also have to pay rent. We're all professionals. And we, have, we, we just, we just we, if you want to be friends with other buskers and uh, oh, not play, talking about friends. we're colleagues, okay? If you want to play if you along. If you really wanted to be friends, you would just let me just finish this whole hour and then you can No, start. that doesn't it's work like that because like there is no money you are. At 2 p.m. is my time, so you're taking 2 p.m. is now away. And so there's no it's alright, it's yours, it's yours, I don't want to Yeah, I know, it, it is mine. It's so yours, yes. At 3 p.m. you can pass. I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> A total asshole the lady felt really bad that she didn't stand up for herself but I get it some situations are best to just walk away from the guy was so unbearable and nauseating she just decided that it wasn't worth it moving on we have an unhinged Karen that hit this guy's car then she spat on him then she assaulted him so obviously she got busted right on the spot and was arrested Just wait for the cops. Just wait for the cops. Look how far you are. Wait for the cops. Just wait for the cops. You started driving at me, so I stopped. You can't drive for shit. You started driving at me, so I stopped. You can't drive for shit. You drove the front of your car into mine. You're supposed to be on this side. You drove the front of your car into mine. Here's the cops. Here's the cops. Well, I'm pressing Stop charges now. Me. I'm pressing Stop charges now. Stop. You can't press charges. I'm pressing charges. You're recording me without my permission, bitch. Uh, it's illegal. I'll do whatever I want. Knock it off. Stop yep. recording me, bitch. Stop recording me, bitch. You just got my phone. Stop recording you just hit me, bitch. my phone. Stop recording me, bitch. You just hit my phone. She just spit on me. She hit my phone. She hit my car. Right, this is already hold on, hold on. Let me put my phone in my pocket, fucking pig. Let me put my phone in my pocket, fucking pig. Stop. Bro, he's drunk. This is a bro. What the f is this shit? How you gonna arrest me? Stop. You're not under arr
She did. He saw you. You have to be a special kind of moron to assault someone and spit on someone in front of a cop. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. These videos take quite a bit of time to put together. So if you would subscribe, I would truly appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.